Hi, it's something kind of funny here again. Uh, before I put videos up of my points of view on WoW and other games, I thought I would uh, tell you all a bit about my gaming history and what I've been playing all these years and and when. I started off with a with a NES that I got for Christmas. I think it was in 1990. Um, the good old Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt game, and uh, the one I really wanted, which was uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, or Ninja Turtles if you're American. Uh, I, I really loved those games, man. They were brilliant. Absolutely just started my love affair with games completely and utterly. It was the first time that I was able to um, use games and, and play them properly. I did have tape console before then but they were horrible and 40 minute loading times no one wants that do they and uh, I could take them around my cousin's house and we used to play where when I went and visited them we used to go we used to share games swap games and it, it was a, it was just good fun uh, also about a year after that I think uh, I was given a PC by my uncle I mean by today's standards it's it, it was just completely poor I mean it's a 486SX33 with 4 megabytes of RAM, a 1, gig, uh, a one megabyte video card and uh, a mighty 300 meg hard drive. But I did love it man, it had DOS, it had Windows 3.1. I had it for so many years it pretty much died when, once I finished with it. After a couple of years they launched the next big thing which was of course Super Nintendo and I really really wanted that. It's when I saw it in the shop when Mario World was playing I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's just just fell in love completely and um, obviously from the Nintendo it's a massive massive jump upwards. Also you're probably getting the impression that I was a bit of a, a Nintendo fanboy which I so so was. I, I really love my Nintendos and um, Basically, I I did about a year after I got the Super Nintendo. I did actually get myself a Mega Drive for Christmas. Um, can't really remember why. I think there was a game I wanted for it, and I couldn't get it on the Super Nintendo. But that's the way it goes. Um, also, during this time, I did have a, what the old chunky style Game Boy, um, mainly because my parents wanted to keep me quiet on long trips to Wales. Uh, same as before, a few years had passed um, during what could be described as one of my difficult times in life and uh, they bought out the N64 and man oh man that was love at first sight I, e epic games, epic epic console, just everything about it was brilliant it was, it was just everything I wanted it had some of my favourite favourite games ever I mean uh, being Zelda the Ocarina of Time, Goldeneye Super Mario 64 and my favourite football game of all time which was um, International Superstar Soccer 98 fuck it I loved that game I owned owned on that game I mean what, another reason why I loved it was the instant loading times um, I hated the PlayStation for this and I for a long time I just there was the the one reason I didn't want to get it I, it sounds weird now because everything has loading times but when you used to cartridge game in and, and there was just instant load times, it, it was quite a big drawback for me. Well, eventually, I, I did succumb and, and buy my uh, buy a PlayStation. It was one for for naughty reasons because uh, it was chipped, so the games were really cheap. Um, I was a lot younger then and a lot poorer, and I do not condone console modding in any way, shape, or form anymore that make it so you can play illegal games. Um, Although, to be honest, if I really did love a game, I would go out and buy an original because I'm kind of like that. Same with CDs, even now, if I love a MP3 I've heard, I'll buy the CD because I like having the physical copy in my hands. The PlayStation did start a new gaming love affair for me, which was the Resident Evil series. Um, although, it didn't really start on the... Uh, PlayStation that started on the PC because I, I downloaded a demo one night and um, God it, it shit me up. I mean the, the, the I, I, I played it in in a dark dark room and I was running through the corridor and those dogs jumping through the window absolutely got me. It really did. 
um, I, I at the time I, I was I was living with my mum and my stepdad and um, my stepdad was a, like a computer genius. He was he was brilliant and uh, he had a network of computers in his house because he did um, AutoCAD design and, and what have you, um, which is why I got another PC. Um, it was it was it wasn't the greatest PC, but I liked that one too. It played played my Warhammer games and it was all good. Um, and with the Resident Evil series, when I did eventually get the full game, I did get it on the PlayStation. And basically, since then, I, I've basically bought every single Resident Evil game and completed every si single Resident Evil game. And I, I just love them all. Um, some more than others, obviously, but uh, you know you can't win them all. Um, another game I did enjoy playing and really did take too much of my time and started my love with RPGs is Final Fantasy VII. I, I, a lot of people love that game. I mean, I know people who have got it on their PSPs and still play it to this day. It is just the most awesome game pretty much ever. And, you know, myself, I clocked up far too many hours on that game for, for my own good, really. And uh, time after that, it was, um, as we all know, the PlayStation 2 and um, GameCube, which I did own one of those. Um, but I got the Game Boy Advance in Christmas of 2001, but I did, lo I did love it an awful lot. It was brilliant. But I was kicking myself because my little sister got a PlayStation 2 and she got Grand Theft Auto 3. And it was just incredible I mean playing that Christmas day with my grandmother sat there while we were running over policemen was just brilliant it was probably the most fun I'd had on a game for a very long time and I remember sitting there thinking they can't make games any better they they really really can't um, but obviously as we all know they have um, I also got in 2002 I got a GameCube from for my birthday from an ex-girlfriend she went we shared a birthday and I, I was a bit embarrassed because she went out and she bought me this GameCube and spent a fortune on me and I at the time I didn't have a job and all I could buy was I could afford was a CD so like, I hand over the CD and I get this massive box with like the Resident Evil GameCube pack and I just I couldn't believe it I absolutely loved that but and I actually do still have the GameCube in my cupboard. It's even got the cigarette burn from when I left a fag on it stupidly one night. Um, it was always, well, a couple of years passed there again, and uh, I got my first proper gaming PC, and I loved this PC. Absolutely loved it. It, it, at the time, it could play any game at the highest settings possible. It was, it was a beast. I, I, I enjoyed playing like Elite Force 2, the, the original Elite Force game. Um, there was, oh god, I can't even remember. There were so many games I used to play. Um, but it, it, it was brilliant. My favourite my favorite PC game from that time was Star Trek Starfleet Command 3. Um, it's an incredibly rare game. I mean, uh, there was some sort of dispute between the publisher and the game people who made it, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, I mean that's what Google's for, if you're really that interested go Google it, but um, copies of the game go for like £80 for an original one, I, I know because my friend bought rebought it, he was lucky enough to buy it at the time it was released, um, I didn't, we went into a shop and I was like I'll buy it next week and it got pulled and I, I was I, just so gutted, although we did have absolute fun with that game. We, we, one day, me, me and my mate, we literally, well, I say a day, we literally spent 36 hours playing it non-stop, trying to take over the galaxy, all in one go, because we wanted to see what happened. Um, after this, I kind of, I started working longer hours, because I, I got a job in security, so my gaming got scaled back quite a lot. I mean, I was, I don't really want to say what I was doing. People who know me know what I was doing. It was nothing top secret or anything. It's just I'd rather not discuss what I was doing security for. But um, that job did enable me to uh, buy the PlayStation 3 eventually. 
I refused to buy it at first simply because I didn't feel it justified the huge, but I mean, it was massive. I can't remember exactly how much it launched for. I think it was ridiculous, like £500. Just was not paying that for, for a game console. Although, as soon as Sony announced that they were going to cut the price on the 60 gig model and uh, discontinue it, that's, um, <laughs> I run down game pretty much. I, I did a night shift. Uh, I only got about two hours sleep. Uh, I went to game and I blew a lot of money that day on on my PlayStation 3. And uh, I kind of run home with it like a child because I was like, I've got to play this, I've got to play this. And I really, really wasn't disappointed. I mean, um, the first game I put into my console was Heavenly Sword. And that was incredible. I felt like a kid again looking at Super Mario World. Um, I mean, the first thing you do in that game, apart from obviously load up and everything, is you run towards like an army of people and just lay the smack down. It was absolutely incredible. I was, I was, I was, as I said, just like a kid. Absolutely loved it, and it really, really, it, it got me, it got me back into console gaming in a way I couldn't believe. I, I mean, I, as I said, I had. I, I traded in last Christmas around that time because I was working for game and they had an offer on uh, I traded in I think it was 22 PlayStation games uh, 22 PlayStation 3 games anyway but um, and I've still got about 20 so uh, it just tells you how many games I had it, it was just incredible um, about a year or so after I got the PlayStation 3, I bought myself a gaming laptop because, well, I was earning good money and I wanted one. There was a lot of games that I enjoyed playing on the PC that I wanted to replay. There was things I wanted to do. I wanted to do a, a computer qualification course and I wanted to do it while I was working so I could, you know, do it on my laptop and, and, and what have you. I've still got that gaming laptop, it's my multimedia hub in my room pretty much, it's got all my external hard drives plugged into it and I use it to watch TV now, it's just the way it goes, I've, I've got myself a, a new laptop with my redundancy money from last year, but it was that gaming PC over there in the corner that was the one that started my love affair with World of Warcraft pretty much. I had played a 14 day trial before, a 7 day trial before, sorry. Uh, back in the Burning Crusade, but uh, my PC would run it, um, but it didn't look as good as I had hoped. I enjoyed playing it, but I could see it take a lot of, of time and, and energy to actually get anywhere in it, so at that time I knocked it on the head. But um, in 2009 I went to visit my mother in Wales, and uh, frankly I was, I was pretty bored, and I had... Uh, email from Blizzard offering me a 14 day trial because back then you didn't have the up to level 20 free for play option you just had to get a trial or a trial code and do that and um, basically within a week I'd bought the full game the battle chest so I had World of Warcraft, Ben and Crusade and then I went out and bought Wrath of the Lich King so I could level to 80 um, I, I just knew from playing it that it was the game that I wanted to play and I really really loved it I mean I loved the whole feel of it I, I just just everything about it was so rewarding and um, I, I'd got myself into a, a really really nice guild that I'm still in to this day I'm actually the uh, the guild master of this guild now um, big shout out to epics by the way um, they were fun. I mean, if if it weren't for them, I probably wouldn't have got into the game as much as I did. Because I mean, we had such a laugh in guild chat. I mean, we from from everywhere you can imagine. I mean, Swedish, Dutch, British, all sorts, you know. And it was really good because we had just so many good times. And by the time ICC came out, I'd had I had myself two eighties and and got myself a third during. Uh, that patch. Uh, we were raiding as a guild. We did raid. We weren't. We were never serious, but we did raid. Uh, I did pug raids. Um, I did a few. You know, a lot of normals. Quite a few. Um, a few heroic bosses. Nothing. Nothing hardcore. I, I did 
did well. I did well. Um, and as we, we you know, uh, we go through the expansions, there was then there was Cataclysm, which a lot of people didn't like, but hey, it was it was all right. It brought us some good things. It brought a lot of bad things, like the uh, long Dragon Soul patch that made everyone want to kill themselves. Um, and now we're on myths. Uh, on myths, mists. Mists of Pandera. It's oh, the daily daily expansion. I think it will be referred to once it's finished with. Um, I still enjoy playing the game. I don't play it as much as I used to, but that's that's not a bad thing. It's quite a good thing. Um, and while I've been playing WoW, well, I haven't really played a lot of other games. Uh, I, you know, just don't have the time. Uh, I have more time on my hands now. I'm unemployed, but I just, I just enjoy WoW and didn't need to play other games. I mean, I, I do play other games now. As um, I play Star Trek Online, which I I do enjoy. It's um, it's a bit of a grindy game, um, and it a lot depends. A lot depends on luck, but it, it's a good game, and, and I'm a bit of a sci-fi geek and a Trekkie, so I will obviously enjoy that. Um, I also feel that the recent expansion that they've done, which has included a playable faction of Romulans, was actually a genius stroke, and that they tidied up the UI, and it all looks really good. I just wish they would fix the damn bugs in that game. There are a lot, an awful, awful lot. Um, also, the the other the other thing I, I am not very keen on about it is they have a cash store, and um, basically all the best ships are you have to buy for cash pretty much or grind your tits off to get. I I do I do and have played other MMOs. I um I don't play them really at the moment because frankly the the free to play models they either get it horribly wrong or they get it horribly right like uh, Star Trek have got it completely right pretty much I think. Uh, Star uh, Star Wars The Old Republic is one I do play. Um, we, we, me and my mate bought a copy each because it had been reduced. Um, we bought a collector's edition each and um, a 30-day 30, 30 game card and, and we went at it. And I just found it... Um, everyone went on about how great the story was and I just couldn't see it. It, it bored me. It really bored me. I didn't even get to max level, which is, which is unusual. I got to something like 41 or 42 and it just it just didn't do it for me um when they went free to play they put a lot of restrictions in place and it just felt too restrictive so i don't really play it um the other one i i have played was dc universe which it's a good game don't get me wrong um very short leveling i mean level 30 is maximum level when well the last time i looked anyway uh i didn't like the idea of um them bringing out a new sort of game pack every month it felt like you know um, and expecting you to cough up 10 quid for it um, I mean if you subscribe then you don't have to but the moment you unsubscribe you can't play half the game and that's the position I'm in so it's it just makes it too awkward really um, the other one I have dabbled with which I absolutely want to play more desperately want to play more but can't play more because um, of restrictions is Dragon Ball Online. Absolutely love that game. It's um, it's not available in English. This is the problem. There is an English patch, but uh, it only translates roughly 10% of the game. So as you can imagine, when you're talking to NPCs or trying to pick up quests, it, it makes things difficult if you don't know what you are actually doing and you can't read the story. Um, as I said, I really hope they translate the game because that is one game that could knock me off well for long periods of time. Oh, anyway, that's about that's pretty much up to date now, and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will be now making my raid finder video, which I promised you, but I did this one first because I roll that way. Take care, everyone, and see you again.